What's going on you guys? I hope you're all having a great morning, evening, or afternoon, whenever you may be watching this video. I'm sure most of you can already tell or know what I'm doing to the 86 today just based off the title and thumbnail of this video. Or if you might have watched my last video that I made, um, it was a little obvious by the parts that I was buying, <laughs> um, what I was gonna put on the car next. Uh, I got like this, these few parts right here that I ordered online. And um, I went to Subaru and bought these gaskets right here. Before I start showing you guys too much, um, if you guys know me, <laughs> you guys know that I love my 86 loud or any of my cars loud. Um, this 86 has the AWE track catback exhaust on it currently. And for being a catback, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> probably one of the most loudest setups that you could go with for just being a catback. Um, I'll dub in a uh, cold start for like a few videos and clips of how just the cat back sounds on my car. So it's pretty ridiculous just how loud the cat back alone is, but if we come over here, the rear of the car. Oh uh, my god, bro, no way. You guys, these are PLM catless unequal length headers. I'll pull them out of the trunk, that way you guys can get a better look at them. But let me go ahead and go put these over here and I'll show you guys how they look. You guys don't understand how ridiculous this is gonna make the car sound. Like, <laughs> I don't even think I'm ready for how it's gonna be. Like, this is gonna be insane. Another really cool thing about these headers is I actually bought these used from one of the guys at work. He also had a 22 BRZ. He ended up actually just recently selling it and got like a brand new Cadillac CTS, I think it's a CTS V. So, of course, he didn't need the headers anymore, so I figured I'd buy them off of him. And he also had a overpipe as well, but I had a feeling that if I were to buy that also and put that on the car, that it would just be obnoxiously loud, and it would just be like a pain, honestly, driving the car around every day. Here's a little look at all the little welds and stuff that it has on this header. They look really nice, honestly, like everything, there's no cracks. I mean, these are literally brand new, you guys. He had maybe 2,500 miles on his BRZ, and I think he put these on around 1,000. So these headers have like no miles on them. They're pretty much practically brand new. Um, got these Subaru Toyota OEM gaskets for them. And also, he, he actually had, if you guys know what this is, this is a defouler, which essentially will make it so you don't have a check engine light thrown up on your car. So when you're looking at a set of headers like this and you have a defouler to pretty much make it so you don't have to get a tune on the car, I could always go with Ecutec or like any of those other brands like Cobb or whatnot. A lot of them just don't really have tunes available for this car yet. So it's kind of hard to try and find someone to be able to tune this car if I wanted to do it the proper way. but. Instead of doing that, you just get like your defouler, and I'm pretty sure it's the one that's all the way closest to this flange right here. And you would just essentially just screw it in, and um, just like so. And it gets, well, obviously all the way down, but I'm not gonna be using this straight one right here. This is the one that he actually had installed on the headers already. I actually got this J-style one. A lot of people online were saying that this is a pretty good one to get, so I figured, um, I would go ahead and do it anyways and just buy this one because I mean, I don't know people said it was pretty good So I don't I don't want to have to run into any issues with it like rattling or if, of course a Check engine light being on the dash because for these cars whenever you get a check engine light It essentially takes up the entire screen of the car this whole side of the screen right here This where the where the door is right here is a pretty much a, a giant check engine light emblem when you get a check engine light on your car and you can't use any of these features anymore. Like you, can, you can't see how much miles per gallon you're getting. You can't see how much like gas you have until you're gone. 
what your battery percentage is at and stuff like that you you don't have access to see any of this anymore because the check engine light pretty much covers all of that so what i'm thinking about doing is instead of me actually installing these headers on the car um in, inside the garage and everything right here i figured i would actually just grab all of this put it in the car and take it to lexus which is where i work at and if you guys have seen some of my other videos there you guys know frankie who's the homie who also has an frs brz86 whatever you want to call it um he's gonna actually help me throw these headers on which is really nice of him it should make it a lot easier than me just doing it in this garage right here just because if you guys have heard me say it before there's pretty much not that much room in here like i can there's like maybe maybe a foot maybe two of space on each side so it just makes it a lot easier especially when the car is on a lift and not just you know on like some cheap shitty jack stands so with that being said i'm gonna grab all of this put it in the trunk of the car and then afterwards we're gonna go head out to lexus and uh get the headers installed onto the car before we can do anything we gotta get the car all pulled out onto the driveway and i figured might as well get the last and final cold start with just the cat back exhaust on the car pretty soon it's gonna be <laughs> absolutely insane with these catless headers on there so figured might as well get one last and final cold start how insane it's gonna sound so I mean to give you guys kind of like an explanation I'm, I think it's just like six or so bolts and then it's the two that connect to like the front pipe that you get to loosen those two to um, kind of like remove the headers because I know it's kind of like jointed right there Actually, the last time that you guys seen Frankie's car, it had the whole black accents on it, like the black body kit, and then they had like the red wheel spoke decals. Look at how it is now, you guys. It looks, bro, it turned out so, so nice, you guys. He just recently did this too, so it, let me know what you guys think. Dude, it turned out so dope. So I'm actually gonna have Frankie get a few clips for you guys while he's doing this whole uh, header install on my car. So I'll put the camera down and I'll let him pick it up whenever he feels like it throughout the uh, install. Um, I guess we'll just see how it goes. All right, so today we have uh, Justin's car in for a uh, header. I think it's the unequal length header. You might hear a different voice. This is not Justin, this is Frankie. Um, I worked on his car before. I did his oil pan and checked his pickup tube. So, uh, 
I'm working today, so I asked him if he wanted me to record for him while I did the job, and uh, he said, yeah, so I'm gonna do my best and get you guys a little walkthrough on what I'm gonna do. It's essentially the same thing that I did for the uh, oil pickup tube. Um, I just went ahead and just dropped the uh, under panel and went from there. Um, the headers is six bolts. Um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and you see these two uh, O2 sensor harnesses. All right, so you can probably see it better now. Those are the two O2 sensor uh, plugs disconnected. This one goes right into the back. This one goes right into the front. Um, and basically, like I said, it's just gonna allow you to just drop this header without having the issue of trying to unplug these while it's hanging and you gotta put a, a, a nut in. So start off there, drop them. And then now we can go to the bottom of the car. Forgot to show you guys the headers he might've showed you already, but these are the headers he's doing on equal length headers. I think they might be MAP performance, um, but he can correct me if I'm wrong. This is a defouler, basically tricks the O2 sensors. Um, and the fuel vapors um, There might be more to it, but I think that's the main purpose of it So it doesn't throw a check engine light and then just OEM gaskets for the headers always want to make sure you get You know since you're already there might as well replace them Don't you know do the job twice and have an exhaust leak because you have worn gaskets got six of these retaining clips and I think you got eight 12 millimeter bolts after removing it this is uh, the headers um, expose probably one of the easier header jobs on vehicles you got six bolts so I don't know if you can see them kind of right there one two three and then on the opposite side and then you got these two exhaust bolts on this uh, over pipe that you just removed you gotta remove those and then obviously the six bolts and then it just comes straight down this is what i'm going to use to remove it it's going to be this extension and a locking and a 14 to get these six bolts and then this just wobble extension on the exhaust side As you can see, it's already loose. I just have to pull some of the exhaust and drop and then maneuver it out. And I still have one nut in here just holding it up for me. All right, so here's the the uh, OEM header and here's the aftermarket one um, you can see you're gonna save a lot of weight um, it doesn't have a heat shield so I think typically they come with like a heat wrap um, I don't think he had one when he bought this but it should be okay I know on the um, the first gen models it, if you have aftermarket headers they will heat up the coil pack on that bank which I had that issue on mine, but I just wrapped my coil packs in uh, gold heat, heat uh, tape and it did the job. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the O2 sensors, put them in the proper holes that they go to. And then on this back one, we're just gonna go ahead and add the defouler, route it the proper way, and then just insert it. All right, so I got the O2 sensors out, the right orientation. What I like to do is I do like to add a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. Um, helps for you know when you have to remove it comes out smooth and um, just so you don't like mar any of the, the threads going in because these do have a little bit of you know kind of like a corrosion on it you know from the heat and everything that's going through there so we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of a uh, anti-seize on on the threads place them in place a defouler I put a little bit on the defouler um, little crush gasket goes right here on the threads 
put that in and then you it has like a retaining nut that, you, um, that you're gonna tighten because it doesn't go all the way in and you're gonna tighten it down so it doesn't so it doesn't spin out or like back out or anything like that so here's the defouler it came with three like little spacers that go in the uh the exhaust portion of it like this goes into the bung um i called justin and he did a little bit more research on it because obviously i haven't installed any of these on my car um, i didn't really need to have a tuner um, and he told me that from the research he saw is that they use the second smallest hoe um, and i'm going to assume that this is just for like exhaust vapors and it just maybe lowers the f or increases the flow um, and yeah so we'll just go ahead and put that in it has a retaining clip usual retaining pliers put it in there and that should hold and now you have the uh, second smallest little spacer in there and now this is ready to get in the car all right anti seize the threads that i wanted to and it's uh, all installed on the new header um, i left this a little loose just because i wanted to adjust it i'm not sure which way it's supposed to be oriented for it to fit properly um, and there's also this adjusting nut on here so that you can go ahead and if you needed to loosen a little bit of threads and move it a different way you can adjust it down and just tighten this and it'll hold it um, so i'm gonna go ahead and put the headers in the car i did put the new gaskets in these are the old ones um, quick little thing on the the gaskets they come with two sides on them there's this side that kind of has like this little um i guess you can call it like a little bevel or maybe like yeah like a little bevel and then there's the side that has the crush side of it um you go ahead and put the crush side towards the um head of the car and then once you have all the pressure in there tighten that it'll just crush it down to the head and give it a proper seal They are finally all bolted in. I did find myself having trouble back here. Um, I don't think he got exhaust bolts when he purchased this. Um, so I had some laying around. I had to route them from the back end um, just because it was hitting the defouler and it was butting up against here. But it doesn't do anything different. It's just the orientation. I also had to end up loosening this uh what holds the exhaust from it rattling and it just kind of like holds it up how to loosen that and loosen these two um exhaust flange bolts back here um that allowed me to get the proper clearance to twist and turn all this so it can all line up pretty evenly and now i just gotta retighten everything because i did have it all in before putting in this overpipe, but then I had to drop it to uh, realign everything. 22 foot pounds, and go ahead and it's 22, not 36. I'm gonna go ahead and torque those down, put the cover on, and then I'll I'll show you guys the cold start. Um, with Justin, you should be arriving here shortly. All right, you guys. So Frankie just got finished up with the header install. This is gonna be the first yeah. additional interaction of how how loud it sounds. You actually need to this rip it as soon as you get out of here rip it as soon as you get out of here all right you guys so this is the first initial impressions of how it sounds with the uh new headers installed onto the car so keep in mind this is the plm catless unequal length headers along with the awe track catback exhaust so let's go ahead and pull out right here and get a little little baby pull
like a fucking race car. So after that quick little few clips that I got of the exhaust, I'm already, <laughs> I already need gas. So I'm getting it all filled up right now. The Catless headers honestly don't smell as bad as I thought they were. Um, I'll see right now, once I have a full tank of 93 in the car, we'll see how much different it's gonna sound, smell now. But let me know what you guys think of the headers. Bro, <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous, you guys. I'm gonna be making an actual like in-depth video like going through all the different rev RPM ranges and you know doing some flyby clips and stuff like that and then also maybe having Jordan drive the 86 that way I can get a few clips of how it sounds from the outside my opinions on what it how it sounds basically because don't get me wrong from the inside it sounds fucking insane so I can't imagine how it sounds from the outside so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video Please make sure to give it a like down below, a uh, comment also if you guys are excited about the new headers. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about them. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Peace.